Welcome back to the Pokemon Sword and Shield Countdown. So today on the countdown, I want to talk about something I totally forgot about, to be honest. And then this morning, I was like, whoa, I never said anything about that on the countdown. So we're going to talk about it. So if you remember way back to the original Sword and Shield trailer, uh, there was like a massive hill art that was shown, like Nazca lines in South America, if you're familiar with those. Um, but it was depicting some sort of a massive humanoid creature with summoning like a storm and people were on the ground like dying and stuff. <laughs> yes, that, like natural, a, ca a casual dying on the ground. But um, anyway, I never talked about it. And so I want to just, you know, touch on it and, and you know, think what, what's what's the theory behind this? So, I mean, there's a mat. I would I would say personally, this is the third legendary. And the, and the reason I think of that is that in the most recent trailer, there was a um, some sort of like a mural on a wall that was depicting uh, like a de death and destruction, um, and then in the next mural it depicts uh, a sword and a shield, and, and it's like, oh yay, we're saved. So it's supposed to be depicting that the Z Zacian and Zamazenta are are destroying whatever this destruction is. And so I would say, obviously, that seems to be the third legendary, because it doesn't look like it's the opposite legendary, because it looks like they're teamed up together. So the third legendary is causing this death and destruction, you sp spawning the storm and, and all kinds of stuff. So, and it looks like they're all, the people of Galar are, de are defending together to, uh, to d ward off this evil. So the question is, who is the third legendary, and why are they doing this? Is this, like forced upon them is do they not know what they're doing uh like necrozma or are they just doing it on purpose like they're evil actual evil legendary i've always wanted like the legendary to be the actual evil like entity in general i i'm a big fan of evil teams you may notice that my team on my channel i'm a big fan of evil teams um and so i've always wanted something that was a little bit different something like the, the legendary is evil uh, we kind of got that with Necrozma a bit, uh, where he was kind of just doing the whole his own thing in Ultra Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, but then you kind of end up feeling uh, feeling bad for him because it's like a natural thing that he does, and so it doesn't really feel super evil. But this could be what I want. This could be my dream of having an evil legendary like actually heck bent on destroying the world, uh, which is an interesting thing. So it, it seems like in the past some sort of war or something about this Pokemon attack and then Zazashian and Zamazenta probably stopped it and imprisoned it or something uh, and then obviously somehow it's now being released probably because of like some person's actions like Chairman Rose or um, or possibly a champion somebody's actions are releasing this Pokemon on like the terminology maybe that they're gonna get something from it or they're gonna be the one that's ruling and then actually trick Hey, Legendary is the one that wants the power, so that would be kind of fun. But anyway, I just really want to mention that, you know, I, I, I never said anything about that hill art. Um, it's been chilling there the entire time, and there's been many, many theories about it and stuff. A lot of people thought that people were like, um, uh, they were Meltans and stuff, and I'm like, eh, I don't really see Meltan being a, you know, integral part of this region, to be honest. It's supposed to be a Kanto Pokemon anyway, so it... There's a couple theories that are a little odd, but hey, I'm always open to hearing more and more theories. But I think this would be really cool. I think it depicts the third legendary, in my opinion. What do you guys think it depicts? 